It is Flan and Fanta on the campus of Creighton University. We're going to do a little bit of a walk and talk with the leader of Blue Jays women's basketball coming off an Elite Eight season. And now in your 21st season as the head coach of this program, Jim Flannery, I'll start with this. Why is Creighton home? Uh, I think when you go to school someplace, you just, you build some, I mean, not just memories, but emotions that, that you attach to the place and then kind of never been able to leave. I mean, my family's not too far away. I think that makes it comfortable. Omaha is a good sized city and campuses, you know, you get to know students and we recruit the right kind of students. So yeah, it's great. Want to take a little walk? Show yeah, me around. Yeah, let's go. All yeah, right, let's where, go. where are we right now? So the, so the, the Fanta and Flan, or Flan yeah. and Fanta. I let's, did let's Flan and Fanta. Let's just go Flanta. Let's just go Flanta. Flanta. <laughs> Sounds like a good side dish. Um, right? <laughs> we wouldn't be an entree. <laughs> right, uh, no, not quite. Uh, we are kind of on the, on the mall. So there used to be a trolley car that ran up and down this uh, yep. brick pathway. And this is kind of our athletic area. You know, when I was a student, none of this stuff other than the law school was here on this end of campus. So let's talk about what happened last year for your program, making a run to the Elite Eight. What comes to mind on how that occurred? Um, luck? <laughs> now, what we were able to experience last year was in some ways a product of the year before and all the all the things that we had to overcome. And I just think there was a there was a toughness about our team, even though we were a little bit younger and, and kind of a belief. Just the amount of playing time that our freshmen that year, that COVID year got, really probably accelerated our development. So that last year when our, our group of sophomores I feel like we didn't feel as much pressure maybe because we were because the core of our team was younger and yet had the seasoning and the experience of that of that really difficult freshman year. We saw that in the tournament, you know, in terms of different people performing at a level in, in those games that we won. I gotta ask you this. Your freshman year was 1985? 83. 83. Wish, yeah, yeah. It was 1983. You golfed too. I, I tried. <laughs> you attempted. That's better than most. That's better than most. And you, and you played some hoops. Yep. I was and, on the team. I tell people I was on the team. I, <laughs> I, I try to not use the verb play, but I did practice pretty, I used pretty the regularly. Verb play. Right? Yeah, yeah I like yeah. that. But you've been so successful in, in bringing kids in and graduating them. I mean, in the, in the last 15 years, You've had just two players not end up graduating. That's that's an amazing rate. Do you use any of that in the way that, that you bring your kids onto this campus and keep them around? Most of the female athletes that we recruit are serious students. You know, they know that even if they do play in the WNBA, the money's not as good. They're probably not gonna play as long. So there's I do think there's a there's a, a culture of of how important the educational part is. Where are we right now? Uh, we are kind of in the uh, concourse of Sokol Arena, these, this trophy case. We always kind of talk through volleyball first because you know we have a heck of a volleyball program and uh, we've got our, our trophies over here. It's everything you're looking, responsible for. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about everything. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's funny, but uh, Bruce Rasmussen, who just retired, was the women's basketball coach from before I got here as an undergrad, up, up through the early 90s, and then Connie Yori, who now is on our staff, was the, was the head coach. Yep. So we've got, uh, I mean, really, what are, we, what are we looking at? Almost 45 years and we've only had three coaches. When you think about that continuity, you just are coming off an Elite Eight run. The national person might sit there and, and say, well, he's coming off an Elite Eight run at Creighton. Man, I'd imagine another program would be like, I, I think I would, I would like some of that, some of that culture, some of the things that he does. What do you still want to accomplish here? This will be our 10th year in the Big East and we want to build our fan base. I mean, we want to pack this place. You know, we've always tried to play a, a really difficult non-conference schedule, even before we got in the Big East and we're going to continue to do that. If you can say that one, we're playing in the Big East, which has the preeminent program and the history of our sport in Connecticut, but also now um, it's, it's a great league around Connecticut, but, but then again, what we've been able to do from a non-conference scheduling 
standpoint. And, you know, you hope that the success that we had in the postseason last year translates to confidence of these next couple teams and then we can, you know, recruit it potentially even a higher level. Before <laughs> I let you go here, we're outside one of the toughest places to play, not just in the Big East, but nationally. Thanks. I'm curious to, to hear your thoughts overall on how the culture extends to your supporters. You are always trying to grow women's basketball, and yeah. I think your run grew it around here and beyond, but the, the state of the sport and how Creighton and the supporters can continue to enhance it. Your thoughts? We're large enough to, to, to build a fan base, but we're not so large that they're worried about the, the Jets and the Giants and the Mets and the Yankees. And, and I do think there's an appreciation for the kind of student athletes that we have and the, the, their accessibility, you know, the, the way that they treat young kids in autograph sessions, but the way they treat our older fans after games and so that that goes a long way i think our players do a great job kind of in both in both of those spaces this has been <laughs> maybe the one and only hopefully we don't get canceled after right? one episode right? an episode of flanta thanks jim